Okay, good morning. This is Paul uh, with Paul's Creations. I'm doing something a little different this morning. I'm actually at my full-time job, I'm an HVAC tech. So this morning, I got a customer with no airflow, or too much airflow, should I say. Um, what we have is a damper system on this office um, using one thermostat to control a relay board, which in turn controls the dampers to each individual run. Um, so I've got this little 2024 special whirly stick <laughs> to uh, go to each individual register to see which one is still blowing or not. Now I do have a, a, an anemometer or an anemometer uh, who can pronounce it um, <laughs> for checking airflow, but that would have me going to each individual register, moving the ladder and take twice as long. So this is just a little quick way to, you know, kind of see which one is blowing, which one is not. And then that will point me towards, you know, which damper to check, and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to start at the very beginning um, of the runs and work my way to the back, and we'll see what happens. Okay, no airflow here. Down here. Now I've already checked some of these, so down there. Okay, there's quite a few of these that do have um it's a pretty high velocity. And you can hear them. But that's not saying the damper's closed a hundred percent. Because I have seen them stay open even after closing a quarter of the way or so. I think we're almost done checking them all. Well, she could have an intermittent problem because every single one of these are closed. Now, we're going to turn the thermostat back down and actually see which ones are definitely blowing for sure. Um, I suspect we may have a relay or two sticking. This is not too old of a system. I actually installed these, this myself. It's not that old, not even a year. But man made it, it's gonna break. Now, dampers are kind of slow opening, so it's gonna take just a, a bit now. I can already hear the air flow in this one, so. Oh yeah, that thing is below then. <laughs> All right, I'll walk right back and check every every one. Oh, what do we got here? Come back and check that one. That one was either really, really slow or not opening at all. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, that one's blowing. This one's blowing. Mm 
This reminds me of a little pom pom for a, a cheerleader would use. Wow. Rah, rah, rah. Go, team, go. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Okay, so looks like everything is blowing. Let's go back to that one up front and see if it's open. See if we need to take a closer look. Okay, so this one doesn't seem to be opening. So, I'm gonna grab my ladder, find out which part of the trunk this damper is tied into and check it out. These are Honeywell ARD dampers, um, electronic dampers. They operate off of 24 volts. You have a common and they normally open, normally closed terminal and you can configure these things to work several different ways which is why I like these ones. I'm gonna have to put this phone down so I can Do something. Tearing up the joint. All right, stand by, folks. I'll still continue to talk. My wife told me a few weeks ago that I should start doing videos of me working, doing my regular job. It'd be pretty informative. Um, I don't claim to know everything, but I have been doing HVAC for over 20 years. Um, got my associates in HVAC and R, which I've got, which I got years ago. Um, not an easy field to be in, but it's very rewarding and make a pretty good living. So, back to it. I didn't think to bring my microphone today to record audio. Hope it sounds all right. So that one is a wiring issue. For some reason or another, there's no thermostat wire going to it. I don't remember that one. I don't remember not doing that one. Hmm. All right. I have to take care of that for sure. So, got a total of one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine registers on this system. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six relays on this board. Which, by the way, that's my little relay board. Not something you would purchase from a um, parts house, but it dang sure works. And it works well. So, anywho, we've got nine registers and six relays. So, um, what I've done looks like is put two, two dampers per one relay twice. There at the very end. Um, I should probably increase the uh, amperage on that um, or the VA on that um, transformer. That way I can add three more relays. That way each damper has its own relay. It's starting to come to me now because it's been a while since we've done this. All right, so we're going to go back again and turn this thing up. And I'm just going to check them one more time because it's not going to take that long to check them to see if, you know, you know, perchance maybe a relay's sticking in the open position or even halfway. Because she said the other day it, she actually turned it off or it cycled off by the thermostat, but it got to be 63 degrees in here. So that's, that's pretty significant. All right. Okay, so that one's closing pretty slow. Okay. Move right along. Okay, I've heard I heard this one cycle down. Now these things will have to be clothed hundred percent. Okay, there we go. All right, moving right along. The ones I'm probably like really going to take a close look at all of them actually but concentrate on the ones closer to the thermostat because if there's only one or two staying stuck open elsewhere like in one of the um, rooms or up front in the thermostats back here uh, it'd be kind of difficult for one or two to reach that thermostat all the way back here and get it down to 63. So. All right, that one's closed. Whoa. I keep walking back here, but there's nothing back there. And that's like three times I've done it already. <laughs> Okay, let's go back in this front this, um, office over here and let's make sure this thing is closing. All right, we still got a little airflow coming through there. So that, that's telling me that damper is not closing 100%. Um, so I do need to check that. So. That's just a little short video on, you know, some of the things that I do. Um, like I said, I didn't think to bring my microphone and, and the whole setup for recording while I work. So it's kind of difficult to hold the phone in my hand and work at the same time. So I'm going to close this video off um, here 
and check that damper and see what's going on. But uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, leave a like if you did like it. And uh, maybe subscribe to my channel. Um, it will really help a lot. And uh, come along with me on uh, some more of my crazy adventures and service calls. Thanks for watching. All right.